America's Army, a game produced by the U.S. Army, is an online first-person shooter for the PC in which two teams compete to capture objectives. It's a bit more true to life than many first-person shooters, de-emphasizing killing your enemies and emphasizing teamwork and strategy. A single player rushing alone into combat oh, oh, what was, oh. What are you, you has a poor chance against a well-organized team. Guns blazing! Guns blazing! Guns blazing! Guns blazing! Guns blazing. Ah! In early 2008, the America's Army developers were looking for teams to create some new level maps for the game. I know that the EMC staff, I think Ray and Anne mostly, were talking with the AA people for a couple of years at least. I know it was several years in the making to get this set up. Basically it was, they sent out like an email. I think it was like a mass email. They said, you know, we have these projects that we're going to be doing, and we're looking for people to apply them, you know. And it was they just asked, like, who wants to be the producer? And I said, me, and no one else did. Cooperation takes two words, cooperation and competition, and jams them together. We kind of had a little rivalry going, because we'd have two groups, and there was the Canyon Project and than the district project, and so there was kind of like that who would get more praise than the other. It wasn't like cutthroat, we didn't like sit there and hiss at each other, you know. And there was definitely like, you know, like comments thrown back and forth over uh, helping each other out. What we did was we went out and looked for reference images online or um, through people that we knew that were in the military over there, and we found a lot of reference images for different parts in the Middle East. Anything run down, old, uh, lots of Eastern European stuff too, uh, like old Soviet bloc, we really like that stuff. And we tried to take influences from that as far as how we wanted things to be placed in the environment. Artists, level designers, and engineers now had to wrestle with applying their concepts using the America's Army map editor. It was the first time I'd worked with it, so I'd never actually seen it before, but it was really easy to get into and use. Once you became familiar with the packages uh, in their own editing suites and stuff, it became pretty easy. I'm not gonna roll! Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have our like bi-weekly meetings with the dev team. Canyon got bashed a lot at the beginning. They didn't really like our design, they didn't like our idea. We sort of just created like a really quick level and they told us that they didn't like it. So we changed it and made it into another level. And then they didn't really like that either. They're saying like how they don't like a lot of things. And then they turn around and look at District and they're like, oh my god, we love your maps. And it's like... Well, testing was a continuous process. Just a matter of kind of going through and trying to break everything. Was... So we had to try to find the balance of, okay, it's fun but there's not one side that necessarily has an advantage over the other, and yeah, it was all kind of a balancing issue throughout the entire time. Remember, oh, we're not shooting people. I can't hear you. For the most part, there's like just minor revisions, but then sometimes a whole building had to be changed, and it was like, we just worked like three weeks on this. We basically remade the level like four times. Mm -hmm like fairly finished looking levels until we finally got one that was, you know, that was a sweet spot. We always felt like we were gonna get cut. I don't, I don't know how close we were. I don't want to know how close we were. I, at one point they just, like out of the blue, were just like, yeah, so we like it, it's cool. And it was like, awesome, you know? Like it was like, take that district, you know? Competition's healthy. It, it, it inspires many of us to do even better. After months of hard work, the EMC maps were officially published and released to players the world over. And there was much rejoicing. The first most basic thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna do a match of a match of canyon and district. We've got t-shirts, oh, yeah, game awesome action figures. So here's the deal. I think uh, we got a server of 26 guys. Dim the lights and we're gonna totally crack some juice. <laughs> So I understand you made a few roads. I did. 
All the ones you see here. <laughs> oh. To our left. Whoever's with me, to our left. <laughs> no, don't shoot me, Ken. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just disappointed an entire game lab full of people. One last thing. Recycle, throw away your trash. I am could not be more satisfied. I'm, I'm so proud of it. We released it to a worldwide audience. I mean, we can go online and Google our own maps and get hundreds and hundreds of opinions on them and for the most part they're good so that's the best anyone can hope for in this industry. What we wanted, we wanted to make an awesome level that was in the game and that is exactly what we got and they generally love it and that is awesome. scene with me in it out and that's going on the vlog. <laughs> I'm Norda, pull the pin on. Just just press your middle mouse button after you like held it back to throw. Uh don't hold up your hand too long. <laughs> Why are you on the American Army project? Um <laughs> Jeff, are you enjoying yourself? Yes. So Max, you just died epically. Oh, that wasn't me. That was Wes. Okay. I'm already dead. Epically. And be good for a pickle see later, apparently.